Hello. Hi everyone. Hello. I can see myself. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm really sorry. Thank you. One second. I just. Don't see if my stream looking good on Twitch. Just I think like my uh, Google Chrome is just like just going nuts right now, and I just don't see if uh, everything that I have in OBS is now on screen. I guess so. I hope you can see my webcam, and I hope you can see uh, my Z brush like uh, full screen, not half how I see it on Twitch right now. Anyway, uh, whatever. Um, another thing is like, uh, if music or mic is too loud, just let me know. It's like usual, I just can't hear myself. So it's up to you, just let me know. And um, for everyone uh, who uh, haven't been on my stream before, uh, hello, hello everyone, first. A second for, every, for everybody who haven't seen any of my streams. Uh, my name is Alina. I'm working as a character artist in video game industry and it's been more than 10 years right now. Um, I'm gonna put my social in the stream just a few seconds later so you can go and check it out and um, Today we're gonna like I, I I like how my streams are usually going. I do have some uh, long-term project, 
and I do some speed scabs and today I'm gonna skip a skip speed scab part because um, I'm not gonna have a stream for very long anyway I stopped talking hello everyone like there's a lot of people actually in the chat I'm surprised usually Sunday's quite quiet anyway just let me drop my social here we go uh, and today let's talk a little bit about this work I have on my screen because last few streams I was working on a different uh, long-term project and I decided to switch gear a little bit and I did this oh damn Um, I'm. I did this cup for. Oh, sorry. this music is a bit too loud. Um. Um. I did this cup for IFCC. This is Croatian uh, Digital Art Festival, and they just held event online in May. And I was talking about how I was working on this cup, how I was uh, thinking about design, how I like basically take it through all the stages of uh, sculpting and things like that and um, I decided why not uh, share it for Pixelogic as well um, this is like it's not done so we're gonna do some work on that today uh, together here and um, I want to start talking a little bit on how I designed it because I didn't I, I don't work with uh, other people other artists concept art I just do it myself and usually it's not a very good habit but I usually as it, like title said I usually work without concept they don't even do like uh, uh, concept for myself I just sculpt it basically from the scratch in a Z brush and I I do uh, problem solving and design in Z brush. Anyway, uh, I have some comments uh, on the stream. Uh, thank you, Extinction. Uh, Jonathan, thank you. Uh, Chris Kogu, thank you. Uh, you guys are very kind. Anyway, so this is basically based on Slavic mythology. This is, is the Syrian bird, uh, but it's kind of taken from Greek mythology. So Syrian, uh, the, the uh, bird with a woman's head. And I'm gonna share my screen in a second to show what reference I did use, because like the fact that I don't scope about concept art doesn't mean I don't use reference. Reference is basically must. Uh, okay. okay, now you can see my PDF. Basically, I, I'm, I'm repeating the same stuff that I said for FCC because on FCC, like I've been talking uh, on the stage of this sculpt, and I've been talking uh, where I drive my inspiration and. Um, the, like what um, kind of um, reference I use etc etc so here we go so basically um, like I will, I will be answering questions in a few minutes let me finish like what I'm talking about right now so basically this is that uh, this is like Slavic interpretation on Greek, Greek mythology. This is a very famous painting by a Russian guy called Kristnitsov, a very famous Russian artist. And basically then I planned for this. I wanted to do something really stylized and I want to make her wings really chunky. Th those are more like 
more realistic approach to the wings, which is closer to the real door wings. And I wanted to do like something more heavy, chunky, like more fantasy thing. And another big inspiration for this is, of course, uh, this is a different Russian artist. This is Rubin. And, and I just love how heavy and stylized these wings are. Which is actually not, he not, this is, um, uh, he is painting for stage uh, costume. So this is lady is an actress and this is a stage costume. So it's already stylized. He's not trying to interpret reality by any way. He's like doing like different things. But his princess one called. Called Princess One, and I also have some reference basically on Russian costume like this. This is archaeological uh, reconstruction. This is a real uh, costume. This is I, I'm not sure if it's stylization or it's real. Uh, same approximate thing. I usually have a lot of reference. Not all of them I use. Uh, this is some drafts I did like in the process. I cheat. I did some overpaint in the Photoshop and I feel like I'm stuck. And um, this is Nick Bibi. He is a great uh, sculptor of every like uh, what do you call it animal. He, mm, he don't do human sculpture, but he is great in doing all kind of birds and animals and I think I only have this grip on here which is I think like excellent excellent work I don't know who's, who's, who's that uh, I just choose it because of this reference I think it's this bird called harpy or something so I just need to look at those papers all kind of <coughs> bird reference because uh, I just need every like every usable shot or um, things region and another uh, costume reference here and this is my reference for the base I'm gonna work on the base today a little bit okay so yeah I showed I, I showed my reference right now and yeah some expression which I didn't really use all that much you don't have a lot of expression which is kind of sad because I like to do sad people and fantasy creatures okay uh, let me stop share my PDF and okay I think I saw some questions Oh, I turned off the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. No? Okay, here. Sweet. So you can't see my fury up right now. Uh, And yeah, let's do some work. Anyway, uh, questions. Um, uh, are those feathers in different subtools? I will show. I will show you how it looks like right now. It doesn't. Oh, touch off. Um, it doesn't to be basically merge in one subtool very very soon right now it's kind of merge some of them are merged together this thing is look like that um, and this thing i think also consists of two parts so then part one and this one ah like those papers some of them are still separate for a reason, for a reason. Is it also? Okay. 
Yeah. So, um, I'm working on a sculptress more than this. I think my video is the right speed. Um, so I'm working in uh, sculptress pro almost all the time right now. You can see my geometry, for example, on this thing. Uh, and I gonna use sculptress right till the end of the sculpt. It's not gonna be very, very polished. Uh, um, perfectly detailed work. I want to keep a little bit of uh, uh, empty space. I want to keep a little bit of uh, places I won't put uh, details on it. So, for example, like her body, just like have uh, her chest, have, have some details on it and some details on her legs, just to show that it's a feathers around. But I think I'm not gonna go and sculpt every feather because it just doesn't look very uh, good, very artsy when you do that. Anyway, do, 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 do. any other questions? Do you kind of do a lot of anatomy studies before working on your concept? Uh, um, mm. I guess it's a very good thing. I never, I never have patience to do a lot of anatomical studies, but if you feel like it's helping, yes, obviously. Um, I would say I rather prefer to have uh, all the places I kind of doubt. If, for example, if I'm working on like you saw my reference board right now, right? I have a lot of birds, pictures from every angle, like different kind of birds. And um, every time I have a doubt, I will consult with those pictures. And sometimes I, if I'm not sure, I would go search Google and then uh, add some reference or just like take a look. And then blah blah blah. Uh, do, 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 um, Harpy, yes, it's a uh, Syrian, Syrian, Syrian bird. It's from Russian mythology. Okay. Cool stuff. Uh, hello. Oh, I have a friend who just got into brush week back. She's really. Uh, okay. Yeah, welcome. Totally. Ask your questions. Uh, and thank you. Mm. Uh, Mark, uh, yes, so this stream is bilingual, don't hesitate to ask me questions in Russian and I will stop talking in English and I will answer things in Russian. Yes, привет! Да, очень приятно. Так, so, um, uh, uh, no, not yet. Um, uh, unfortunately, past few days I really have some problem, like, with Scarface Pro, it gets frozen, which is weird. I, I didn't experience a lot of problems like that before, so not a lot. Anyway, so you can see some fears I still haven't finished. Oh, for example, like, tail. Oof, this is not <laughs> the young man I showed. This is still unfinished. Those are merged together. I actually, when I was working, I, I had them separate, then I merged them, and I didn't like it, and I rescolded a lot of this tail. Okay. So, where do we start? Uh, I think we can start um, with adding some jewelry. So for now, I actually I plan to have like heavy uh, ornaments on that side and nothing on this side. But right now, when I'm looking at it, it just look a little bit unfinished. So I want to add some like one small ring on that side, like ribbon and a ring. 
have no idea where I'm sorry from the start then. Anyway, be, and I didn't have, I didn't solve this place for real. Like, I still have to think about it. The favors go over this uh, headpiece and it doesn't look very convincing to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fix it later, probably off stream. So how I usually do with ribbons, I usually go with ribbons, I probably will use this. Uh, and I, I, I start with curve strap, but eventually I, and unfortunately quite often I just go in scope this mod again. And that's it. Anyway. Slippers. We can use some color right from the start. We can use the thickness. Okay. Too much. I don't like about work strap, it's just like behaving, whatever. Just use transposable for this long thin parts. It's way more comfortable. And obviously there is some wind, so there is some movement happening, so it's not gonna stick to the body. And this is too long right now. And I basically have two options. I either can, uh, like the simplest thing will be just go to the sculptress mod, probably in the sculptress mod, excellent, and just do this super fast. And since I gonna sculpt over it anyway, that's fine. And you can see my geometry right now is a little bit of a mess. And this thickness a little bit too much, but uh, what I want to do is I'm gonna take a move though and just Take an advantage of the fact that I still have very low poly in the top. And I can just squeeze it a little bit. There is a few more way of doing this. I, if I would want to keep this geometry really like pretty, I would use uh, that modeler brush a lot. So I would do like um, really clean topology and work on this clean topology for a while. But right now, I'm still not sure. I still thinking uh, I might not like uh, the result, so I might redo it. So um, sculpt this is a really really good way for uh, sketching. Yeah, uh, and obviously 
Um, obviously, uh, if it's a ribbon, it's usually supposed to have like the same thickness. So I just basically don't like this. Uh, and um, what I'm gonna do is there's also many way of doing this. I can either Okay, it's not perfect. I don't like this. It's a mess. Um, it's gonna do the trick for me right now. So, theoretically, I would like to keep the crease pages at some point. Okay. I'm gonna go really fast. And Scott this like to do the whole section of the pages. Could be a nine. Let's be the ring by simply copying this from okay. Yeah, I can just copy this. Oh. Of course, no, because uh, I already have a subdivide on that. Um, quickly. Um, Easy. Facebook feed froze. Uh, Ruben, do you always have a final product? No, I always like every artist. I usually upset. I see a lot of of loves. Uh, uh, art influence by Russian culture. You get it? Yes. Toti, uh, dynamism, organic. Thank you very, very much. What's about Facebook? I'm sorry. Wait, uh, this can I interrupt for a second to check what's going on with Facebook? I can see myself. Anyway, whatever. I'm not able to control all, all the technical stuff. If some of uh, streaming is not working, YouTube or Twitch, you can go to YouTube or Twitch. If Facebook stream for some reason. Stop working. So how the ribbon would go around this round ring? It obviously would go. Oh, wait, like this. And here, oh, one one more thing I wanted to do. Yeah. Although. This is something what I wanted to do. I probably want to change the size of the ring uh, and change. I, I want to rotate it like that, more like that. And I want to make it a little bit smaller like this. I probably will do changes in the design right now. It has subdivides. But I probably will go back to the sculpt this. And I'm gonna show you everything. Everything. So. And let's save. Save every 15 minutes because you never know. 
I know that brush obviously have a really good um, recovery, but it happens with me a couple of times when recovery just just didn't work, and I don't want to lose any 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 work. Here we go. And right now, it's clashing a little bit with the body, so this uh, situation is not, not good. Uh, here we go. Uh, probably a little bit more. Probably the this part shouldn't be sticking out all that much. Let's put it back. Also, uh, I believe it's kind of too thick right now, so I wanted to have it thinner. And this is still too low poly, so it will need uh, more geometry. And I will add a little bit of geometry just a tiny bit later and this uh, does so I have to go a little bit up as well here we go something like that maybe this thing should not only go a little bit up but oh not rotated a little bit hmm. Before I start to add any sculpting on that, I will try to position it in the position I like. The worst thing you can do to yourself to go into details before you block the shapes as you like it. Okay, uh, pew pew. Uh, uh, what's this? I was talking about in the very beginning of the stream, it's a siren. Siren. It's a Russian interpretation of siren. In Russian mythology we have Syrian bird. So it's a, a bird with a head of a woman. Or vice versa. A woman with a body of a bird. And they sing. So basically it's a Greek. Transpose line, it's transpose gizmo. I use both, and I just showed you how I use transpose on uh, parts like ribbons. Like, like transpose is really made for the parts like ribbons, like limbs, etc. And the gizmo is more for moving things. And transpose can do a lot of really neat stuff. Like, I even don't know, like, like I still don't know a lot of what transports can do, uh, but for example, I will digress a little bit um, because I, I I know a lot of people like they don't even know that transports are uh, uh, transports can do like a lot of really cool things. For example, like I can demonstrate it on a branch because it will be like the best probably way or like on this. Feather. Let's choose fever because this will probably gonna help you most. For example, uh, if I go and move, move not only can move the things like it, it, it basically supposed to do, but also it can scale. Uh, 
and it most of all like my favorite feature is to uh, bend and I use it a lot like if I like if I need to bend like I want to bend this feather like even more I would use it and you can move this points and you either can bend this part or you can move this point and bend this so it's very handy all of them are doing pro approximately the same like not uh, not talking about bending but for example like rotate also if you you should press alt for this alt and you will be rotating only this part which is also very helpful at some point gizmo can't do that obviously gizmo is just like gizmo and any other 3d software <laughs> blah 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 Anyway, I hope it goes helpful. And I don't wanna do any changes in this feather right now. I might use transpose on one of those ribbons. Okay, so what we have here is very weird geometry. And I actually want, still want to take advantage of this low polyness. I will use it more direct, hope it's gonna work. Save, uh, just in case. Yeah, it works perfectly. So you can work with the sculptor's mod and still use uh, that modeler on the parts with uh, low poly. Well, you can use that modeler on the parts that are not low poly, but it's not much use. Help. Okay, so what I want, I just wanted to smooth this step and I didn't like. And yeah, let's add some thickness and let's probably. It doesn't match all that well right now. Oh, I can change the size of my brush, so Sculptris Pro uh, won't, will give me like smaller uh, three and dots. This one looks so rough. Here we go. And. What is this? Come on, let's see. Uh, okay, no. Wait. Looks like I lost version of this one. I still want to probably push it a little bit. And I'm gonna use uh, transpose. So here we go. So um, this is how ribbon should go around the ring. Ta ta ta. No measuring. Thickness. Yeah. Um, okay. I didn't know about that. Uh, Ray. Ray. Last year. Um, because I don't do a lot of pre-printing. So, like I just send it 
see the printer and don't, don't prepare stuff myself. Please move them. Uh, yeah, I do use it. I do use this as well, Borat. Um, this is what we're talking about, right? It has a lot of stock here, but I found sometimes it's way too complicated. And for organic stuff, I really just need a quick fix. I don't really need a lot of precision, like you can see. I don't, uh, don't do any um, sci-fi or uh, whatever that requires. And, and, and I'm all about organic and I'm all about sculpting and I'm all about cutting the corners. Um, so my mic is too, it's not, not, not loud enough. How is like music mic? Like, let me know if like music and my should be adjusted, okay? smooth and smooth all that stuff uh, I would love to keep this thickness but I don't need really this uh, rough edges anymore like straight edges um, so I'm gonna smooth it this is a pasta, so you, like, you can use, like, you can bevel and then um, dynamash it, gonna give you a nice result, but it's a quick way of doing things. And I can hear myself, but I don't know how it's on the other end. So, let me know. fabric and I um, assume it's like very soft kind of fabric um, like the one that could be homespun uh, so it's not a polyester and it will give you some creases um, so it give you some folds on this ribbon so like on that one so which is what I will add a little bit of folds And by this I just sculpt and sculpt it through and it's easy. Uh, why is she so sad? Uh, mm, I just I like sad people creatures. I like to sculpt sad faces. This is why no particular reason.
I really don't like, then I can't use my back face mask on Scorpius. And if I'm on And I start to penetrate with this. Not good. Probably not move it. You can use a brush a little bit. Yes. Also, this can be moved. Oh, shit, I forgot I only had. I have a mask, of course. Because it's obviously shouldn't penetrate into the ribbon. Feel be connected to this tassel, like for example, with some knot. Okay, here we go, something like that. Um, what about this? Wing itself. Hmm. Not quite sure how I how we're gonna sculpt this. If I wanna sculpt this, in theory, I would love to have it different from this one. So. Um, one way is to redo it from the scratch like because i have some idea in my head that just um, this this shape not gonna help me a lot oh going on after save mm, 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 mm. yes i'm standard uh, uh so le sorry like let's answer the question in in the order they came in uh so Gustav, what was your approach to the feathers i will show you a little bit later i'm gonna be here for another hour so i will do uh, go through the feathers as well i can show you like how i work on them from this guy just very it's it's very similar that i use for the ribbon uh what is your pro uh, approach done um they use them standard yes uh, tips on the subject of them standard just use them standard <laughs> it's a really really good brush is it talking about i even have it on a shortcut uh, I, I don't have to go to menu i have it on a shortcut eh? let's in, in case you people don't know what it is it's uh, about um the brush brush and the deep very very fine lines i do it for i i use it for detailing i use it for sculpting a lot so basically those are my two three main brushes if i'm sculpting uh it will be uh clay build up move and damp standard one new brush that i start to use a lot but it's not by default in this brush you have to go and buy it it's a pablo clay brushes uh, and this is a brush he's streaming here he was streaming here this week um pablo Munguez. oh my god it's going nuts um and he made this uh, set of clay brushes and i use this knife sharp
and it's very similar to them standard but it's mm, hard to describe i think it's even uh, it's not sharp uh, it's uh, some hybrid between them standard and orb uh, brush that everybody know about i will show you all right that brush in a second and i just like the cleanness of this this is on uh, sculptures pro model obviously so we kind of still give a little bit of rattling <laughs> he's not always like that uh, yeah yeah and, and monday is he's great uh, uh his um, uh, website is uh, the brush can you can you drop his website here so people can go and check his brushes so i don't have to go and uh, do that so i i really love this but uh, this pack is kind of pricey the other brush and i believe it's in a free uh access this is also very old one mm. This is uh, orb. So it's done by M Michael Vincent for like years ago. Like, and this looks very similar in a way. Uh, this is even more stylized and even like less organic than dance them standard. Uh, but you can, if you increase intensity, it's also it, it will give like really nice cut and really nice edges to this cut. So I really like it. So this is like a couple alternative for them standard. I wasn't asked about it, but I decided. <laughs> want to tell you because uh it's good to have more brushes in your inventory and i believe orb is uh, downloadable uh, online for free unlike pablo's and it's he did it like years ago right now the brush guide right the brush guide yeah he has a lot of good stuff there he's like it is going nuts <laughs> he's usually such a cold but it, Coach Potato and today he was just like having all that fun. He, he wasn't screaming yet. He might. So and like a lot of his favors was done uh, usually either by like the sharper lines there was either done by them standard or um pablo knife or orb i didn't use orb all that much um, those days but i should it's, it's a really good brush i'm used to have it on my interface anyway what we do this doing okay uh let's talk about feathers then and let's do some feathers um, let's use this so uh, how i usually start with feathers is uh, very simple and very silly and i use cube brush and i'm not gonna do it like again but i just show you how i start with uh, every shape so i use curve tube but if you drop intensity it's gonna be flat if like i usually use like 50 60 and uh let's use color so we don't have to add color and let's say oh so yeah big can be skinny okay 
here we go so basically like this and if it's too thick I still can go you can s you see now it's like super super uh, super slim and I do use curve modifiers and size and I'm gonna be a bit wrong I'm gonna be that so I only need this thin on one side and thicker on the other side and it just needed to thicken so and then I just like create a mesh from that and move it in a certain position I use a uh, transpose tool thicken it here and I, I have approximately this shape this is how I, I did this shape but right now I'm gonna reverse it and then I, I will just smooth it in a squid piece pro mode or I do that in mesh it depends both is fine because Oh, I thought that I did something. Uh, no, I probably just did subdivide because you can see it's kind of very clean geometry. I have no idea how I get there. It's been some time. I, I just finished it uh, for FCC and I haven't been working on that very much. But this is approximately my process. I like to start with a tube uh, so I can place it how I like it then I have a clean geometry that I can move a transpose I can move in with move and then I start to add details on the end let's talk about details I don't know how I how this happened this bump it shouldn't be there so you see then the moment I start to use sculptures, like this geometry is really like becoming triangles. Uh, but this is okay. Not so pretty. But let's go here and let's just muscle. No, it is not like some muscle. No, it's not like guy today um, and I would start to chip the pieces you can uh, uh, how do I use uh, shift if it's white it's gonna it depends what what direction you move it can be either you only cutting this piece and leaving this piece or you can make holes bit confusing but once you start to use it it's kind of intuitive and it's important to close this lasso because if like some yeah, you just saw like it could damage the subtle yeah this is my cards because then quivers especially the tail if it has a lot of damage like this it starts to uh, have this I don't know, hollows like damage and I just use it for my artistic purposes Let's see. Uh, uh, still daylight. 
yes, it is. Uh, I'm in Canada. Hello, I'm in Canada and I'm on the like, it's the daytime, it's like 2 p.m. I just have to close my blinds like almost completely because I have a lot of play on my screen. Uh, did you make the ends? How did you make the ends? This, this is how I made it. Ah, you, you want me to show you again? Anyway, I did this. Uh, it's a thin last one. Oh. It's sometimes not gonna do the job very clear, so sometimes you have to go and fix it, like move by hand. Which is okay because we do organic sculpting, we don't need like crazy precision. Yeah, here we go. Uh, do I really want this? Yeah, maybe. And then. I can sculpt some more, I can use uh, sculptures and just go around those edges to make them need to make them oof, them standard. So here is the work for them standard brush. And the other thing that I like to do is I like to Keep the bigger pieces, for example, like this. Here we go. And I like to add, so it's even more damage on this end. And I like to add again a little bit uh, cook tube. I need it thicker and I need it uh, wrong, wrong. Yeah, okay, so I just stuff like this. And right now I need it really, really thick. Oh, I need to rotate it. So let's let's do that. So this is my way of adding these fine details on the feather. Like you can see. All over this fine ends was uh, done with basically two tube. Talking to your software, this is a problem. <laughs> um, that's okay. I'm talking to my software as well. No judging. Okay, so um, let's now let's keep going with this one. Um, if I have some time, I will be working on a base today, but I might not. So. So and then it's just like very long tedious process of cleaning this up. Uh, so again, people, can you hear my voice? 
Like there's asking it's like consistently. Like music and my Let me know. Try it. Because I've been asking recently and people say it's good. Okay. Hi Diana, hello. Let me know, like, I can easy turn down the music because... I only can... Fix it... Following your feedback, I just don't hear myself... Uh, and I turning on all the sound from Twitch, so it doesn't intervene. Although not in my headphones. And then giving like weird earphones. Anyway. Better? Okay. Morgan, hello! How are you doing in these days? It's kind of. I think everybody just feeling a limbo right now. She's stuck in the city, borders are closed, and anyway, however, cool. let's do another one. Nowhere to go, no events, no the brush summit, nothing like I supposed to be in Europe around this time, and I'm not, and I have no idea when I can go there. This is a little bit too thick, but honestly, it's fixable. And also, and then that kind of looks ugly. And it's just fine because I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna decide on its placement for each of those. And the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going to Gizmo, Remesh by Union. And uh, Remesh by Union is now my bread and butter because I use Sculptress a lot. And this is basically the fastest way to merge uh, the stuff and keep your details on the stuff. Uh, things. Uh, somebody did work. Huh, why are people working on Sunday? Um, Morgan, thank you. Uh, say thank you. My hello. Uh, Sunday and some people working on Sundays. Are you in the movie industry? I know these people are working wild hours. At least here, uh, the games could be wild too. Like, trust me. But yeah, that could be really wild. I did a lot of. Or we can work this year for Ori. But it's over now and I'm enjoying my weekends as I used to. But I, in general, I have a feeling that I didn't do a lot of overtime in my life, like for real. I did, like, I know, because I know people from movie industry and they crunching like crazy. They don't. They basically coming from. And you used to came home, but just for sleeping. And sometimes even they don't come home for sleeping, and it could last from half of a year. Games could be really hard but in general my experience it's a little bit milder anyway what do we have do i like it 
Oh, I don't. I think I don't. So, not a big deal. Uh, always can use smooth and fix the stuff like that. What I don't like is probably those. Uh, kind of looks sad right now. Uh, And I want them to come together at this point. And the only way I can merge it is again through the uh, by Union. like it anyway this is okay too change my mind. I'm gonna do this. There's gonna be like a big chunk missing. Uh, this is okay too. Uh, uh, uh. I think I'm gonna do this place a bit differently. I need this line, but I don't need this too deep. Uh, and I just don't like this as well. This is um, a Syrian bird. This is like Russian mythology for everybody who missed the beginning of the stream. Uh, let me share my screen again and I will show you my reference board again because I know people like coming and going and people who was here in the beginning they probably left. So I not gonna bother anybody. So Morgan, I did it for FCC. I did it for FCC stream in May and I was showing my process from the scratch. I will do video and I will post it on YouTube one day <laughs> when it won't be done. So this is basically this. So this is uh russian mythical bird which was basically the same as in greek uh, they just take it from greek uh, mythology the uh, bird with the head of a woman or vice versa the, the, the uh, woman with the body of a bird <laughs> you can choose choose your side actually this even have boobs i hope i'm not gonna get banned for like medieval boobs uh on twitch and this basically mm, like 
Um, yeah, but Russian people kind of think of it. And um, this is a very good painting of a Russian 19th century painter Vizhnetsov. He liked to draw a lot of uh, historical and mythological subjects so those girls are uh, Russian mythology took it a little bit further um, they kind of make them into two one is always happy and one is always sad but it's kind of it's vague it's very late kind of mythology and basically Slavic mythology didn't preserve all that well uh, if you here to learn about uh, history and mythology, is so uh, yes, you know the uh, Odyssey adventures. Then he have to tie himself to the ship so he can listen to this siren singing uh, and not break the ship. Something like this. And then, um, oh yes, actually this, uh, this is Bilibin, this is a book, uh, that guy did a lot of book illustration, very uh, big love of mine, and basically a lot of people who into Stalai stuff. And I do have a lot of birds here. Yeah, I do share my screen. For a second I was like, did I share my screen? <laughs> Just talking nonsense. Um, Willis, yes. Yeah, uh, so, um, yeah, this is a neat, it, yeah, here we go. Yes, this is like photo of a birds, photo of a wings, because I have some trouble figuring out how I want to, uh, how, how, how I want to pose them, how I want to put them in a the movement. So this is Nick Bibi himself. This is a guy who does a lot of animal sculpture. Uh, he's uh, really, really, really good. He's, this is one of his work, but uh, he do have a lot of amazing animal sculptures. Like, ah, this is another inspiration of mine. This is a Vrubel. This is uh, Princess Swan. Very famous, like Russian fairy tale subject. Again, the girl turns into the bird and uh, turns into the girl. And but this is actually the painting about staging opera. So this is a stage costume, and she's an actress. Uh, so it's like if Vesin itself is super super uh, realistic in his wings. Rubel is very loose and he's very stylized in a way. It's not very realistic, let's say. So, and I, I love it. So, I took this idea of having heavy, very stylized things. It has nothing, like, it has something to do with how real feathers are working, but it's very, very loose. I just wanted to be kind of consistent and not go too wild. And same with the tail, it's, for the tail it's more like a cocktail basically because it's like one of the few birds that has like heavy feathers. It also have this peacock here. Yeah. This is for my base. And we can work a little bit on the base as well. But I, but I have to bring this paper in some kind of better shade first. Mm. Well, um, usually like people who, a lot of my friends who do in 2D, they really, really know uh, Russian paintings, painters and paintings really well. In, so yeah, I I can drop you some links after after the stream. Just if you're curious, um, 
because I feel like sometimes pretty guys, they, they just in general don't really know the painting, that this is okay because it's not the classical painting, because it's not the something they should concentrate. Thank you, thanks a lot. Okay. I'm gonna be there for like next 40 minutes and then I'm done. I'm not gonna stay for very long. They, I'm gonna turn off um, my display capture so I'm not gonna see my project anymore. Say bye bye. Boom. Yeah. So here we go. And if everybody was watching uh, Magdalena Dadella last week, if you skipped it and you into sculpting of realistic characters, go check it out. She was great. It was in the Brush Master series. It's hard to skip those day because it's just popping out in a, as a brush starting screen all the time but if you skip it by some reason just go check it she was great she said a lot of really useful things about face anatomy and how to work with it so, so, so yeah. uh, shout out to check magdalena and uh, basically everything you can find, uh, every lecture you can find by Magdalena, it's like, she's great, she's great at explaining stuff, etc, etc. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, people, like, if you want me to the links for the Russian artist here, it would take me some time to do research. I can then do like, mm, I have scopes in a, <laughs> I, I give in, in a history of art lecture and it's not going to give all that well. I, I can do a tiny bit later, like if you're still here and if you like. will remind me like close at the end of the stream I will do it but it just like then I do blah 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 people like stop uh, stop watching Such a hit and miss. Sorry. Okay, this is something that I wanted. Yeah, because. 
why not? This is probably not gonna have very a lot of breaking issue in real life, but it's just like giving me like a nice, nice line here and like some details to Kagai because it's very very uh, empty space in a way. So now what is missing there is. Uh, proper sculpting This is Damien standard again. Um. I think I can add a little bit of intensity. Something like that is gonna work. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can. <laughs> um, I can, but like, I don't know it's unfinished well uh, like I can tell you why it's not finished right now because it has uh, this feathers just blocked and I haven't touched them at all I wonder what it is and I wonder why I have a hole in this place yeah okay I know why um, this base is like maybe 80% done so I like the roughness of this and this and I'm gonna leave it this sketchy and I'm gonna polish it further this place is obviously need attention every time when I see like a lot of rough triangles and it doesn't look particularly appealing I'm gonna go and uh, go over them and do something so it might not look perfectly polished but it look artsy and it look uh it can convey something it convey shape it convey texture blah 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 so uh this for example segment is looking good already i'm not gonna touch this um this i said it looks good uh her body i'm not gonna do a lot of work i might add a little bit of the verse just to like again with uh, them standard or even maybe with actually uh, pablo knife uh, which um uh, gonna gonna work miracles so maybe not this intense just to can kind of convey here is the texture so here is the feathers and the common i just like just need few basically few strokes to 
real okay this is a feathers right you don't need like you don't have to go and do all the feathers here it's could it could be nice stylization it could look good if it would be realism kind of but this uh place on the leg is good enough for me and then i'm gonna poly paint it and then i will add a little bit of darkness in the cavity so it will increase this accent that like it'll punch it even more uh mm, person with a nick i can't see from here Davidchuk. Dobry day. heard of oh i put a Да, я повесила картину на стене. Sorry guys, it's uh, basically Russian English, so people free to comment or ask me question in Russian. I will answer in Russian. Uh, Sebastian, do you sell your sculptures to any company? No. And also nobody will make any use from them because these are uh, not this particular is not it's technically could be printed this girl that i have on uh, i will turn it on for a second this girl uh that i have on my starting soon screen i've been asked like millions of times if i'm gonna print it but no because it's like it's gonna be nightmare for printing this could be okay for printing but uh, honestly I'm too lazy and I just I, I have a day job I have a salary so I just don't leave off this and I do it for fun most of the time so this is basically what I would do to clean. Ah, what I was doing, I was still working on these feathers and I got distracted. Uh, well, I kind of not apologize and just try to explain to people what's going on. So sometimes like uh, this stream is actually, if you check the bottom it says English Russia so English Russia I'm mean, used to have separate stream for Russian and separate stream for English but I only can do one stream in a month right now and that's pretty much it so I have to do weird hybrid style style streaming which is to be honest not even very comfortable because like even switching from language to language is like taking a lot of effort in a way it's hard to switch back <laughs> every time um, movie and animation industry in russia is not on yes we will totally endorse it but i'm not in russia so um i'm of Russian origin, I moved to Canada eight years ago, sharp right now. It's really will be eight years in July, beginning of July. Mm, so, ho ho. And the funny thing is, I'm working now for, from home and I'm working for Austrian company. The headquarters is in Vienna, but I'm mean, used to work here for Ubisoft Montreal sometime and another company. This is not good. This I I probably not never gonna see that. Yeah. Which is okay. Ha ha ha. If I would able to see that I have to fix it because it's uh them standard that I use on this side lead into back. Mm. 
And as much as I really, really love Scottress Pro, like if they will allow, would just allow this big face masking in a Scottress Pro mod, I would be like, this would be the happiest day in my life. But it's impossible, like you can use it in the Scottress Pro. It's like it turning off Scottress Pro mod every time. And the fun fact that it was not like that in the beta because I was beta testing in this brush 2018 and um, Scott Press Pro was working with back face mask all the way until release and then at the release we just cut it for some reason unknown to me Anyway, stop ranting Otherwise, and I know more and more people work, working in the Sculptress Pro mod right now because it's so convenient. You can go back in any stage, um, which I don't like, but I don't like it. It's like I had these lines and it doesn't look any good. So this need to be cleaned and then although I'm not gonna do this perfectly clean because the feathers they um, have it, it's a point of interest it have to look good uh, so like this part is a point of interest like first you obviously look in the character face and then you look in places that are uh, detailed and this should look good like so this tail especially this part need a lot of attention need like it doesn't mean i'm gonna add a lot of detail but i'm gonna polish it i'm gonna uh, if need to uh, flatten i use flatten i know some people use high polish for that reason i kind of like to use uh, flatten to get rid of kind of wobbliness on a mesh that um, usually uh, the like damp standard and uh, some other sculpting methods could leave like a lot of unwanted uh, wobbliness and geometry it doesn't look really pretty <laughs> Do you have a server working with this brush? No, but basically I'm not working for this brush. I just do stream in a month, but that's pretty much it. Exposure bugs. Um, uh, the, um, how is your experience with collaboration with Ori and Will of Abyss? I'm working for the Moon Studio. Like I'm working for the Moon Studio. It's not collaboration. I'm character artist in the Moon Studios. Uh, so I've been working very in Will of this and um, it was tough sometimes, but outcome is amazing. I mean, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge person in terms of gaming. I do do not play games usually, which is weird, but I don't. I mean, used to, but not now. And I still love this game a lot. Although I like, I better test it like for hours, and I still, still moving. I still like, I still crying for you. Yeah. Uh, give yes, some um, say yes in a way. I immigrated because basically. Russian video game industry died out and it become more like uh, outsource companies and it become more like mobile it's either mobile project or an outsource project 
which is sad, but I have other reasons to immigrate, and uh, this is kind of sad because it, in, indeed people, th there is a lot of really talented people, talented people, talented artists, uh, but I would say a lot of um, programmer side, people from programming side immigrated, if we could, they left, artists, some left, They have some movie companies, but what is that? This is wrong. Um, but let's be honest, Russian movies are not very famous. Then the last time you saw a Russian movie, <laughs> it's not Hollywood, so obviously. Pretty much said. Um, is your day job with 3D characters? Yes, and it's in game 3D characters, so that means uh, like sculpting is a small part of it, and low poly texturing uh, uh, is a, like ta taking usually more time than sculpting. Technically, technically, experience in my previous jobs also you spend a lot of time uh, putting stuff into the engines etc etc I not at that stage yet with Muma you're gonna be at some point mm. this is annoying although unavoidable making me really sad the like importing meshes in the engine and dealing with all these problems and why it actually doesn't look so good anymore it's annoying no, we... really i don't know if i butcher any name on that, but yeah uh, so some are good russian movies in the past decade but like past decade People usually know, like, people who like artsy stuff, like Stalker movie, it really was done in Soviet Union, so it's kind of 30 years ago, it's like older than me, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and there was a couple of movies that go in an international, but really, like, I think it one company really to make movies in Russia. I have no idea. I left eight years ago. I never worked for movies, so it's kind of I know the situation in the game industry, but not too much. And to be honest, I have very little idea about uh, movie industry in Montreal. I know it's also big. You know, I have a lot of friends working there, but I haven't been working there myself and I never wanted to oh, because I'm a video game person and uh, as long as there is video games I think I would always prefer video games to movies I like this place where Tevers is crossing with a bark and I can use it to my advantage to be honest. Mm. What? I will try it again. We'll see if it's gonna work. So it's kind of gonna push the Tevers a little bit, just like this. Of 
Frontal edge to hide masking so I can see that what I'm doing and not being distracted by mask. I kind of like it. And let's move this thing. I like this kind of subtle things and then um, objects are colliding and you can use it for your advantage in, uh, in terms of art, in terms of design. <laughs> Stalker was... it's a Russian director. Was it made on Ukraine? It was Soviet Union. Soviet Union basically was one country. Background. If you want a lecture on history, I can give you one. Um, hold me. You want to visit this concept? How to visit this хорошего хорта? Back claim it, but I'm school. And buy it yourself. Или это на работе? This is why I don't like Russian game dev. They just treat the employers poorly, usually. But truth to say, I'm working, oh, I'm on a salary, but I, since I'm working from home and my employer is in, in Europe and I'm in Canada, uh, they do not provide me hardware. So the hardware I'm working right now is basically it's mine and I use it for work as well. But I find it like, in a way it's convenient. I mean, I can always uh, apply for tax return because I'm using this, my own stuff by working for Ubisoft. Whatever I buy for myself, I can't claim any tax return because uh, obviously this is UB how that claim tax return. But we go UB always have really good hardware. I always have quite a good hardware with them in the company. Anyway, stop ranting. <laughs> Let's do some work because it's only 15 minutes left and I will go because I have other stuff to do today. What display I'm using? I'm using Cintiq. I'm using Cintiq Pen and Touch 27 inch, uh, which is kind of old now. It's five years old, I think. Oh, time flies. Um, I do use both. I have my tablet still I didn't throw it let me let me share here we go I use tablet sometimes then I put my Cintiq as a display and plug the tablet uh, and I should do it more often but for the streaming um, the Cintiq setup is more convenient. And my uh, reference screen is uh, eight years old. Uh, I bought it in like the time I came to Canada and, and it's Dell and it's still working, but it's really old and the resolution is kind of old, but it's okay. I'm gonna, uh, gonna upgrade Hopefully this autumn, if nothing else will happen, like, you know, 2020, you can't be sure in anything for you.
Have you ever been, David, have you ever been frustrated and said Russia hated it? Is it like... <laughs> um, like you, you, you wait, I will tell yes, streaming on Pixelogix brush leaf, right? It's like nonsense, right? You know, I'm re representing the software at the moment. And the honest answer will be no as well. Like, so my honest answer even though uh, I'm streaming for that brush and I've been with them like for quite a few years already. No, um, you know what I get frustrated with quite a lot? Vacom problems. Vacom have them tons of shitty stuff in its driver. Like I would leave uh, my PC come back and my cursor is nowhere. It's not on my under my pen. I have to restart. I have to restart Wacom driver. Um, Wacom have a lot of problems with pressure. Sometimes I have to close it brush and restart the brush. And this is Wacom problems. And how I know about I know this is Wacom problem, not Z brush problem, is because. I do also 2D and there is 2D software that would lose pressure occasionally and there is 2D software that wouldn't lose pressure occasionally. Like Coral Painter, usually very good with Wacom and for some reason Wacom and Photoshop Wacom and this brush have problems. Um, and uh, yeah. I, I firmly believe is Wacom to blame and you know everybody who uses Wacom knows that problems are real so yeah no I mean I also get frustrated with Photoshop sometimes and funny enough I even I, I have a licensed version I pay for it every month and this is a dump piece of shit but I still have to use it because uh, I have my brushes I kind of you know, don't really have time to get a learn a new software and yeah. Photoshop, if you hear me, hear me, your software is kind of crap. End of ranting. Uh, Um, uh, right, oh, who are you feel from Cuba? Hmm, real? And you're allowed to go to the internet in Cuba? I'm kidding, I believe you do, and also travel abroad, right? Uh, display answered, um, uh, yes, well, I like. The brush, do you like it or not, is one of the software that really work close to the community. Like Photoshop never did. Like Photoshop was always thing on itself. And the basic feature that people was asking for for ages, Photoshop only implied just like a few years ago. And this is frustrating. The brush is listening. Um, also, the brush is kind of like, I think they like to do the stuff that we want to do. Like, like they a little bit like how it's good. They want to add this feature, they would add it. <laughs> like, sometimes I think some things are a little bit rushed. And I, I generally, generally wanted to have a big face masking on Sculptris Pro. I mean, 
and I actually I've been suggesting few features to them but um, it's bad on my side because they said like just send us a mail with description and I never did so it's my bad I never did but I wanted to as I wanted some topology um, m more sophisticated topology like Topagon built in that brush it would like help a ton but to be honest um, Topagon 3 is coming looking very good and for now I think if one day it will be out and it will be good I'm just gonna buy it because it never failed me um, and it's it's a software like it's a I, and very old and still working fine so I'm gonna stick with them anyway oof, 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 oof. I get tired yeah I, I got tired from streams and I didn't do a lot of job to the, today on the stream mm, and I'm gonna finish in 10 minutes approximately so if you have question ask uh, tra -ta -ta, um, uh, I have good RTX with a good monitor. Can I use without display? Absolutely, you can work without display tablet. Display tablet is optional. I just shown that I do have um, this old school vacuum that I plug sometimes, and then I just put my um, uh, Cintiq in a vertical position, like screen so i have two screens and uh, vacuum tablet uh, which also work good uh, 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 um, about blender for some guys stop asking me about blender i um want to get into blender but not a substitute for this brush and the reason is because i have this brush and why would i want to switch to blender I also have 3D code. That's 3D code I have for real. Blender I just downloaded once and I never use it, but I should because it has other great features. And I rather looking for substitute for 3D Max because yeah, talking about Chitty Software after desk <laughs> and Adobe. Something wrong with the companies starting with A. Um, let's be honest for the price we're asking it's i barely using it like i, I do have to use it but i use it m most of the time like transition software that i need to go and fix a couple of vertices or i have to uh, put stuff in the engine or i have to put textures together whatever so because I do sculpt and then I do topology topogan and I use um, Rizam UV font wrapping and basically there is I just need this substitute for for 3 Max. So I'm looking for Blender as a substitute 3 ds Max. But I prom was promising myself to get into uh, Blender since March. So I was thinking now I have a lot of time I can I can study it and I didn't. So <laughs> feel shitty because I said that like last stream two months ago. Uh, -da -da. Uh, uh, why do you Sculptures Pro instead of Dynamesh? Because Sculptures Pro is way more flexible. Um, I only use Dynamesh as a transition. Uh, sometimes I use Dynamesh with a polish. Uh, because this combination like once and then I go back to sculptress because I sometimes need just to do clean up for um, the subtle let's say like this uh, feather I want to dynamesh it let's do dynamesh with polish let's do this perfect uh, clean up I don't have to go manually um, making these lines perfect which is actually was a really good idea then I just go back and sculpt the sculptures all of that. And I just need which was a really good idea. So things like this. Um, 
in many of the cases uh, Dynamesh now I just don't use it I completely substituted it with uh, Scotris Pro because you don't have to have this headache of like control click to redynamesh uh, don't lose uh, details which is very important and then I need to merge objects I would use uh, uh, mesh by union and again like shout out to Magdalena stream last week if you haven't seen it go watch it she basically saying the same thing she love she love use sculptures and um, she using it more right now than everything else and actually she is kind of one of the veterans of um, 3d she's been in this field forever and when magdalena say felisa felisa she's great okay uh have you seen the video of creating 3D realistic model? Uh, whatever, I'm kind of not interested <laughs> in, in Adobe because so far everything they was uh, trying to do with 3D fell miserably. Do you know actually they was implementing um, you can upload you in 2011 or 10 they start to allow like obg upload in photoshop and they said like you're gonna texture it you're gonna light it you're gonna use it for concept art blah 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 never work like it was like a lot of promises and it barely even was implemented We'll see, maybe, because we, we bought, we start to acquire a lot of 3D software. We started, we bought Substance, we bought Medium, see where it all goes. I don't trust them. Um, but, well, things can change, right? They might, I, <laughs> uh, this develop, like, this software development is so bad, like, it, it's a Windows of, uh, digital art software like you use it you hate it but you still have to use it and you're just miserable um, uh, um, question um, what is that? what inspired you to start sculpting um, inspired um, the necessity of having online lecture for FCC this was done for uh, a Croatian digital fest that was held online this May and I wanted to show them the process of doing something from the scratch and I haven't finished it yet per se but it's very close to be done and um, on my FCC stream I don't know if it's available online for everyone or only for people who had tickets but I, I go into the stages and explain why, how I choose my reference and I'm not gonna talk about reference again because I just did it twice. Um, the Pagan is good for retopology. If you're working for games and you need to do low poly from the sculpt you did, Pagan is still, for me, is the most efficient software. Very stable, let's say, because talking about stability. Uh, uh, very easy and just good. And many, I know many people who do use uh, Topagan. Some people use 3D code for it apology. And I tried and I didn't like it, but I didn't try probably hard enough, maybe missing something. Uh, so Topagan is read apology tool for if you need low poly for either. Um, video games most of the time or animation um, less right now but still uh, do you daily sculpt do you do a daily sculpt that would improve what what would 
you do to improve the skill? If you do a daily scoop, what would you do to improve the skill? Ah, so, okay, so question. If I would choose the subject with daily scope, what would I choose? First of all, David, like, I mean, this has become just a me, blah, 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 chatting in the stream. Um, first of all, I wouldn't do daily scope per se. I would do a couple of speed sculpt a week. Because by doing speed sculpt, you uh, only learning to uh, improve your speed sculpting. Try to sink it in. Um, it's very good exercise, but just don't put all your time on this. I would say good uh, way of improving your skills would be not only speed sculpting, but also doing a big project, big final project, and taking them from whatever the industry, if you aiming or we want to improve, just taking from the start to finish from from a sphere to uh, full-blown beauty shot in the engine or in the render, whatever. And speed scopes are great. And I, I would say uh, I I like to skip to sculpt heads, but it's not for improvement. This is actually for me, if I sculpt heads, it, this is for me is um, chill time. And if I want to speed sculpt something, uh, something for improving my skills it would probably be something that i never did like i did few birds recently for example not this but i did the other ones uh and well, let's let's see if i have them i been putting some video for youtube for two months already because i'm so fucking lazy uh, ta -ta -ta. So, this one, yeah, I, I did this fairly recently, and uh, this basically is speed sculpt. You can see this side is not done, it's probably like it certainly take me more than one day, maybe like three seatings for a few hours and like I just try to I just always wanted to do some animal sculpt so I, I did this it's also helping me that that but I think um, I got idea like I'm in a period of sculpting birds I just love it <laughs> right now so it was kind of natural transition from I did the bird and like why wouldn't I do like the mythical uh, creature uh, tra -ta -ta. okay uh, Russian language is hard to learn yes um, okay thank you very much uh, today was blah 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 chat instead of sculpting but I hope you um, Find that useful. I hope I answer your questions because um, there was a lot of good questions, and uh, I'm really enjoying chatting. Uh, let me drop my social um, into chat. One second. Here's my social. And my YouTube is abundant, and I'm like I'm absolutely totally aware of it and ashamed of it ashamed of it but um i have a video i have a video with almost done but i didn't finish voice over and it just stuck for two months hopefully i will be able to upload it so i have a video for youtube on actually uh sculpting of this speed sculpt because i have most the process filmed and I probably will do the video for that girl because I have a lot of screen grabs and I'm working on a video for NVIDIA it's been it's gonna soon be in one year since I started it but I'm gonna be out I, I will finish it in the end of 
um, summer. So I hope we're gonna be out at some point and yeah. Whew. Um any other questions? Uh three asking questions still now. Done, what was your question? I'm sorry, like I I skip few questions, it just probably I lost it in the chat. Uh but uh, yes, I kept working on it, but I just talk about it. You can find this stream is usually on YouTube right after I they kept it on YouTube all the way re uploaded. I have no control of it. It's a pixelogic guys then stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm done for today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, if you have more questions, keep it for July 26th, I believe, the same time, Sunday. I usually stream on Sunday, 1 p.m. on New York time. And thank you very much. Have a nice end of the Sunday.